Hi everyone, it's Sarah. It is Thursday, October 3rd, 2019, and this is this week's edition of the Scary Fan Party Report. This past weekend was the Abbott Kinney Festival, and the footage was amazing. Jim Aldridge and other members of the Scaryverse were in attendance. Um, he did a live stream. I thought Scary's voice was amazing. I, for me, his voice is just getting better and better. The band is getting better and better. I can't wait until new music comes out tonight. I did get a post about a, the Winston House, although I'm not sure that's from this year. I found that he appeared there before a couple years ago, and I can't even remember where I saw that or last year or whatever it was. So I'm not sure that's from this year, although his hair color was the right color, so it might have been. There was a rumor, I think, that he did like a um, fundraiser there or something okay. like that. So not sure about that. I wasn't able to verify it. However, um, we did get a picture of Jim with Alejandro. I know that he was super scared about that. Well, not scared, but like uh, apprehensive, I guess, was the word. Alejandro is like really, really tall. I don't know. And I was really digging the green flight suit. And then I went to Kohl's the next day and saw a green flight suit. I was like, this must be a thing right now. So anyway, that's that. On Tuesday, he posted a picture of him, and you guessed it, standing under a tree. He seems to really like trees. He posted about being at ACL this coming weekend. I know fans everywhere are really excited about this. I am as well. I'm always excited when there is some kind of concert or footage that we are waiting for. That is going to get to be a lot I know Jim and I have talked about trying to do a podcast every week. We just have to get faster at it, and sometimes our lives interrupt. I'm working on trying to simplify my life right now so that we can try to do that every week during the fall. Later that day, he also posted some big news for the Scaryverse. He was releasing Diamonds on Friday the 4th. We knew that something was happening on the 4th, and the clue was... I can feel it, and also diamonds. It was the first sign that he sang at Lollapalooza, which as of until recently was unnamed. So everybody's super happy and waiting for that to happen at midnight tonight. Also this week, MTV did a feature article about our favorite artists, and it was a beautifully written article. So thank you, Lucas Villa and MTV, for that. We obviously love whatever we can get, but this was genuinely a great article about him. I really enjoyed it. There were some things in there that I didn't know prior. I was happy to have some media again. I think we're going to get a lot of media coverage in the next couple of weeks. We also received some much anticipated news from ACL Radio that tomorrow's Scary Pool Party is going to be on from 9.30 to 10.15 a.m. He's going to play three songs, and he'll pro I'm imagining he'll do an interview with them. So go to their account, show some love. I know part of the Scary Verse has already been there and commenting about the thing. While there is no live stream at ACL that we know of, we're certainly hoping for footage, but there is a live stream on Sirius XM, so tune in for that. Hopefully our guy will be streamed on one of them, although there is no official word on that. I have the stuff posted here so you can see it. And speaking of ACL, Scary posted a story on with all the links on his profile. That was nice. This was followed closely by a post from ACL about the fest festival and um, two artists everyone wanted to see. Of course, SVP fans responded immediately. Personally, I responded with SPP, DK, Travis, and Max. You know, I just wanted to have all my bases covered. And for good measure, I put him in there one more time. He posted a little while ago about ACL again. I have a sneaking suspicion that he's not doing his own Instagram anymore. It was bound to happen. I'm not totally shocked by this. I kind of had a feeling after the last meltdown 
on his Instagram that he was probably going to take a break from it for a while. I'm not saying he'll never post on there again. I do think he needs a break. Uh, it got exceedingly negative the last time. So I'm glad to see that he's getting, you know, a reprieve from social media. I know that it bothers him sometimes. It is hard to ignore, even for me, and I'm used to it. I'm on it all the time because of work. So I get it. I totally get it. He did get a shout out from his mentor and friend, Twin Shadow, for the iconic jump. This is perhaps one of the most iconic images that he has out there. Definitely received the most attention from anybody, but really love this picture. Glad to see that him and Twin Shadow are still staying strong as friends, and that was amazing. I did receive a post about one of his influences. I like to talk about that because I think that he has so many influences from so many places. This was to Barbara Robbins, who is on Scary Pool Party Worldwide. She sent this and asked if maybe we could um, play some Tom Waits. I have that scheduled for next week. I'm super excited um, to always play things. If there's anything you want to hear, please make sure you comment on the request post on Scary Pool Party Worldwide, and we will definitely try to get it on the air for you. As far as his social media this week, Instagram was down about 3,000 to 726,000. So we're still seeing that drop there. I do expect that to rebound a little bit in the fall tour, especially hopefully when the new album comes out. We don't know when that's going to be. I thought that it might be the fourth, but Jim Aldrich called it right. He thought it would not be the album because he's going to be at ACL that day. So he was right. As far as Twitter, Twitter was down about 200 people this week to 67,600. So that was down a little bit. Facebook was up about 100 people. I still think people should go follow him there and, you know, make sure he is getting all the love he deserves on Facebook. He has a lot of fans on Facebook, so it's a mystery to me why there are more people following him. However, moving on to YouTube, YouTube was up to 110,000. That's up about 1,000 over last week. All the songs did really well. They're all back to normal. Uh, tonight was up the most, and Cholo Love was up a lot. Those two songs tend to trade back and forth week to week. Poison was up a lot last week, but this week it's back to where it normally is. Out loud, the same. It is usually pretty steady as far as YouTube, unless there's new stuff coming out. There will be stuff out at midnight. I'm excited to see if there's a video to go with the Diamond song because I do like that song. I can't wait to hear the studio version of it. Glad we have a name for it. On Spotify, he was up again. Um, to about 133, 676 followers. Out Loud was up a massive amount this week. It was up 128,000 listens. So that was way up over last week. It almost doubled. The rest of the songs were up as much as they normally are. He gets a lot of love on Spotify. You know, 10 Years was up 53,000. Fading Away was up 22,000. Tonight was up 21,000. Uh, the Super Scary Mix was up about 16,000. So he gets a lot of love on Spotify. I'm glad to see that um, because I know the more that they get on there, the more uh, revenue they get, I guess. I don't know how that whole Spotify thing works. On SoundCloud, he was up the north. In fact, every week on SoundCloud, I rarely have to change the up 500, up 300, because they pretty much stay the same. A couple weeks ago, he had an increase a little bit. He goes up, you know, a couple people every week. The songs pretty much go up the same every week. That did not change this week. He was up, um, Out Loud was up the most, followed by 10 years. And the rest of them pretty much stayed the same across the board. 
So that's it. I just had a couple of announcements. Um, you can join us on Scary Pool Party Worldwide as well as Scary Fan Party on Facebook. We are super happy to have you. Uh, the radio show will be on again next week. We are doing a live show on the 29th at his Philadelphia show because that's where I live. And I did get a producer for that show, so we will be able to do a live show, which I'm super excited about. You guys might have heard him. His name is Joey. He is the show after me. He agreed to do our show so that we could have a live broadcast during that time while I'm in line. I'm going to record some music, and he's going to play it for me, and it's going to be awesome. So make sure you check him out. And also, I'm going to be doing some giveaways on the radio for listeners that call in. We do get a lot of calls. Um, it'll probably be like 10th caller type of thing, so I won't be talking. I'll just be like caller number one, caller number two. I'm going to give away some cool stuff, maybe some copies of Diamonds. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I'm definitely doing a giveaway for Halloween on the radio show. We talked about it this week in the radio meeting. So I am super excited about everything that's going on. We have Corey Jacobs coming up for the podcast with Jim and I. And we are really looking forward to that. We have some other exciting guests in the works as well. So stay tuned. Um, that's about it. You know, do some good in the world. There's a lot of love going on in the scary verse. I love to see that. People supporting each other. People giving tickets. I know that Tom gave tickets to somebody as well. I got that message. I will talk about that more on the radio show next week. And, you know, it's all love. And we need to keep it that way, right? Like, I love when the groups are happy and people are helping each other. It makes me feel good. So that's it, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.